Good luck tonight, pretty boy. You'll need it if you're so desperate you gotta borrow someone else's car. Man, oh man, some people just have no shame. <laughs> He's an asshole, Case K. Try to ignore him. He's only trying to mess with your head. Trust me, it's cool. You think a cheap shot like that's gonna make me forget how lucky I am to be here? Believe it or not, guys, right now there's not a damn thing anybody could say that would make me feel anything but gratitude. Where would I be without this team? Without these guys? Without her? Let's do this thing! In five! I can watch my taillights get smaller while he's busy feeling out his new ride. That's why I chose to lead. Hell, I'm not stupid. I'm in this for the surefire win. Suryosuke, there's something that I've been meaning to ask you about. I mean, you already had a replacement car en route when you decided to let Keisuke go with the girl's FD. It was the right call to make, but it just doesn't seem in character for you to change your mind so arbitrarily. What have I told you about jumping to conclusions? Maybe when the opportunity presented itself, I simply thought it best for Keisuke to fix the situation on his own terms, based on his own experience. Uh, of course. He's already familiar with Kyoko's car from when the two of them raced. And hence my decision. He's gotten a close look at how that vehicle operates at its limits. And perhaps more importantly, how it differs from his own FD. My choices may appear arbitrary at times, but in the end, I'm really an opportunist. Whenever I see something that might increase our chances of winning, I jump on it. I'll admit, though, it was damn lucky for us that that girl showed up here tonight. Case KOs are one. We all do. Awesome, just like I thought. This baby's got power and a killer suspension system. Thanks, Kyoko. This is one hell of a ride. Okay, I gotta ask. Are you feeling all right? I never in a million years thought I'd see you let somebody else behind the wheel of that thing. I hate to agree with him, Kyoko, but you have to know by now that your obsession with that car is something of a local legend. I am surprised at myself. If anyone told me a few weeks ago I'd be letting someone borrow my pride and joy, I'd have told them to get their head examined. But right now, I couldn't be happier to help Keisuke out. I mean, it's kind of like tonight was just destined to be. If lending him my car will help my darling, you better believe I'll do it. There isn't anything I wouldn't do for him. I'm rooting for you, babe, just like I said I would. Don't you dare lose this. not an FD specialist, I sure as hell don't know what one looks like. Don't get your panties in a wad yet, he's still getting dusted. This is gonna be a tough one. Word on the street is that guy didn't have a chance to run the course at all last night. Not even once. He's racing a land Evo when he didn't practice? <laughs> he may be good, but that's just friggin' crazy. I remember reading something in a car magazine once. For sheer speed on the streets, the Lan Evo is second to none. Sorry, FD, but this is one lesson you're gonna have to learn the hard way. Time for trash talk is over, pretty boy. Now get out of my sight! You know, I think I get it now. The point of this race is actually pretty straightforward. Unless I'm wrong, Keisuke is facing two major handicaps out there. One, he's having to drive someone else's car. And two, he never got the chance to do any practice runs on this course. Under circumstances like these, you wouldn't think he had a chance to win. But if there's even the slightest gap in his opponent's skill, it'll level the playing field for him. And I'm pretty sure saying Keisuke is better than this guy would be the understatement of the year. Oh yeah? You really think so? It's kind of hard to explain. 
My instincts tell me his opponent's not much of a driver to begin with. I think if Keisuke was going toe-to-toe -to -toe with him under normal conditions, this race would be over by now. I get it. It's only because of those handicaps that he's been behind this douchebag for as long as he has. That's what the hill climb is about. You'll see. Why can't I shake this guy? Damn it! back there flooring into the tightest corner on this track and the bastards still run on top of me how can somebody be that good when they haven't even run the course before go any slower and that prissy little ride of yours might as well be going backwards <laughs> those upcoming S-curves. Don't screw this up. Just come at him from the inside, tight as you can. It'll be tricky. The Evo will get just a little bit of distance on me. But if I do this right, the line will open out on the next left-hander and give me some cornering speed. Once we hit the long straightaway, I'll leave him in the dust. That's the same exit-oriented cornering strategy I used against the R-34 in Tochigi. The Lan Evo doesn't stand a chance against it. Time to take this punk to school. your mind the road ahead is under construction there's a barricade on the left shoulder it's not wide enough for both cars don't get any closer to me you moron you're gonna push me into the freaking embankment ah, you son of a bitch easy big guy Bastard! What the hell was that? What kind of horse should we trying to pull back there? You could have killed us both with that little stunt of yours. Is that Project D's idea of a fair race? If I had backed off at the last second, we'd have had one hell of a mess in our hands thanks to you. You're kidding me. You don't actually believe that, do you? Wait, what? <laughs> you mean you really have no clue? The hell are you saying? There was enough clearance that if you'd pulled your car all the way to the right, we both could have gotten through. But hey, you know the course better than I do, right? If you couldn't judge that for yourself, there's no point in me trying to convince you. Huh? I could understand you being pissed if we'd had centrifugal force pushing on us, but it was a friggin' straightaway. If I'd had my car two centimeters from the barricade, there'd still have been five centimeters of play between you and the guardrail. You couldn't tell that? Huh? No way in hell anyone could tell that. Look, if you don't understand your own car's specs, this conversation is pointless. Next time you want to come at me like this, do it on the course, not by bitching about my technique after the race is over. You know, like an actual driver. Why don't you try a full-speed braking contest sometime? That'll show you what a real street battle is like. Right now, you can't even talk to me. I think I'm about done with giving free lessons, Hotshot. Now why don't you run along and stop wasting everyone's time? <laughs> <laughs> 